going to show you how to sign up as a family member. Now remember there are two types of accounts. There's even two different apps. There's a Seesaw class app where the teachers and students use and there's a Seesaw family app. Um, on the web portal there's just one login page. There's not separate websites but they do take you to separate portals when you sign in. So you likely got an email, especially if you're in my class, shows you how to sign up yourself as a family member, at attaching yourself to your student that's already signed up. So remember, it's really important to sign up your student first and then it's easy to connect yourself to them as a family member. So in this example, you just click on this link and it takes you right there. And then here is your list of students. And so you can just choose which student you want to connect to. I'm going to connect to Jane, even though I've already done it. So I'm not sure what's going to happen when I do this. Is Jane Ludlow your child? Marcy Ludlow will have to approve access to Jane Ell's journal. And that's Marcy Ludlow because I am the teacher. So we're going to hit OK. And then it asks you to create a CSAC account. Now, if you already have an account, you can sign in. If you're already with Google, you can just click that, and it'll ask you for your Google information to sign in going to ask me for my many Google accounts. I'm going to put in my password. There we go. It's going to pull us in. It says, oh, I'm already connected. Okay, so I'm just going to sign in with Google. It's really getting mad at me. So I can't really show you that. What it should do once you um, hit, go through those steps and sign in, it should take you straight back. Now it should do it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Pops me right in here. And this is what it looks like on the web portal for your family uh, Seesaw account. Notice there's different tabs. There's no side pane over here. It's, it's much more simple. And the app looks very similar to this as well. Again, there's two apps. There's a family app and a class app. And as a parent, you want to be in the family app. So I can click over here. I can actually add my student's journal from here. So if you happen to be with your teacher and you're having a trouble trying to, trying to get this, you can ask her to give you the QR code if you're right there, if, especially if you're on your phone, which is how I added one of my kids because I was having some troubles. Um, or you can use a link or URL. Um, and that would be, again, something you would get from your teacher, okay? So you, if you already have an account, you can sign in and add your children over here. Okay, I'm going to show you from here, this is the home page. This is going to show me all of my kids' stuff all put together. So there's Liberty Hamilton posted this one. Um, Emmeline's tagged in this one. Um, Liberty posted this to everyone's for the Monday, Wednesday class, etc. And then if you keep going down, oh, there's the Monday, Wednesday love of learning class that's been posted. Okay, now if we keep going, you're going to see, ah, what's this? So I also use Seesaw in my home school, and I have a separate class I've set up with just my own children. And so it's also showing from the family page the other classes they're involved in, right? So maybe it might be a little more clear here. If I go here in the journals, I can filter by students. So I can look at Emmeline's class. Hey, look, Emmeline's class, is, she's got her core class and her Ludlow Learners. Again, that's my family homeschool class. I can click on that and just see the posts that have to do with our homeschool, or I could just see the posts with her Knox core class. Does that make sense? Now from here, I can like things. I can comment on things. That is so funny. I love Jenna and I love Mentos, right? Um, and then it says pending approval, and so the teacher has to come in and say that's an okay comment. And that just helps us from getting inappropriate or silly or, you know, other otherwise comments we don't really want on our journal for everyone to see. Okay? So this is what the view looks like for you. Um, let me scroll down to my class because there is, oh, that's not going to do that because we're in Emmeline's. Just kidding. Let's go to Jane. I'm going to go to her love of learning. Now, if you see these two buttons on the side, there's more than one picture there, so you can click through those. And you can see all the fun things rather than just scrolling, so those dots. So just so you know, there's a lot there. Now, if you click to inbox, this is a way for parents to communicate 
um, with their teachers and with the parents, right? It, it all is going to stay right here. A teacher can send one message to particular people or everybody. Only you and Liberty can see these messages, so you don't accidentally hit reply all, right? Messages don't get lost. So it's showing all of the messages. So if I had sent a message, I don't know why I would send one to myself, um, but if another teacher had sent a message, they're all going to be right here. So if you have multiple children, um, especially like on Monday, Wednesday, you could have messages from Liberty, Marcy, and Holly, and it would all stay right here. So you would know exactly what's going on. And then if you click the notifications tab, it just tells you what's been happening, what you have, haven't seen. So that's just kind of nice to, to help you get caught up. So there you go. So go comment on your kids' stuff. Go, go be impressed. Go ask them questions. Um, and if you need to contact a teacher, um, you can message her just by doing this. You type it right in there. And there you go.